Welcome back everyone. I'll go and show you how to set up Safari extensions on iOS 15 on any iPhone really or iPad. Now you will have to be on iOS 15 to do this so do keep that in mind. Now the very first thing you want to do is you want to make sure you have Safari extensions at least downloaded on your phone. So I have a couple of them downloaded here but just in case you don't, Hyperweb is one of the Safari extensions I found. It's fairly new. So what you want to do is just find a Safari extension that you like. So you can type in Hyperweb and download it like this. Now this this is the process to do this. What you want to do is you want to go ahead and click open and it's going to typically most applications will tell you the process of allowing and you know installing the Safari extension. So you want to go and click get started and almost every single one is going to break down exactly what to do. So in this specific case what we're going to do is we're going to make our way over to our settings panel. So you're going to come to a panel that looks like this normally. Now what we want to do is we want to swipe down until we see that Safari tab. So typically it's down here, right over here. You wanna click on Safari and there's this new tab called extensions. So what we wanna do is we wanna go and click on extensions right there. And normally you won't see all the stuff that I already have here. You'll typically see probably one right now where we have Hyperweb. You wanna go ahead and click on Hyperweb and we want to make sure this little option right here is on. If it's off, then it's not going to be on. So you wanna go and click on here. And then what you want to do, if the application tells you to go back into that app, you know, you can go and click on, I've done all the steps, and then it's going to whatever you can go through here. But the next important thing you have to do, and this is very important, I think a majority of the applications won't allow you to do this. You want to go ahead and open up Safari. You then want to, you may automatically get this little, you know, thing come up. If not, you want to go ahead and click on that little tab bar at the bottom. And you want to find the specific extension that you just installed right here. So you can see I have a couple extensions, but we want to find the one that we just did and you want to click on it. Now, when you click on it, it may actually go ahead and tell you, hey, do you want to allow this specific extension? In that specific case, you want to click allow. And then it may tell you if you want to allow it again, just keep clicking allow. I don't know why you have to do it so many times. Probably they have to fix it. But then once it's done, and if you don't see a specific like, you know, triangle with the exclamation point between these, then you're good to go. You don't have to worry about anything anymore. And then you can go ahead and use that extension as you normally would. If you want to manage these extensions again, you can just go straight into your little Safari tab right here under extensions. And then you can go ahead and, you know, click delete or do whatever you want to. You can turn them off, turn them on. And deleting an extension is as easy as just holding down on the application like this, deleting and removing the app, and the app will be fully removed from your phone. So now if you go to extension, the extension is not there anymore. So that's pretty much how to do it. If you guys have any other questions or anything like that, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.